In this video I'd like to show you a little bit about drawing some characters and uh, doing characters and game pieces is quite commonly used uh, using the drawing modes for Flash. What you're seeing here is um, a copy of or a practice piece from another cartoon artist. Uh, this is not actually my own but I wanted to show you um, that this is working in layers. When you're working in merge mode drawing, you might want to separate each piece uh, in a layer. And here I want to uh, show you that I've got three layers. One is uh, the nose in layer two, and if I close the visibility or turn off the visibility, there it disappears. Um, second thing is uh, snout, just this shape right here is on a separate layer and then finally everything else is just black and these have all been kind of merged together so if I click on this whole figure since all of these are connected all of the shapes overlapping they have merged together into one except for this uh, little eyebrow right here okay so we can do an awful lot uh, with shapes with regards to shapes um, I could take, let's say, for instance, uh, the oval tool, and I'm just going to use a fill color and um, no stroke color, and in the color picker, choose no, uh, no color, okay, um, utilizing a, let's say I want that um, eyebrow right here, and so I've got well, I've been in merge or uh, object mode. I want it in merge mode. So I'm going to turn that button for object drawing off. Okay. And then I want to change the color here. It doesn't even matter what color it is. I'll do white just for demonstration sake. And I'm going to um, go ahead and make a shape and click on it. Yeah, I, I know I can't see it until I click on it. Uh, go and to get to the free transform tool and put it over this and you can see I'm blocking out uh, some of the area and that is going to cut right into uh, my shape for a nice eyebrow. Okay, then I'm gonna let go and I still have my shape. Okay, but if I pull it away then I've got um, an eyebrow. And then what I can do with that piece is maybe um, transform it using, using the transform tool. I could um, rotate that. Again, another eyebrow. I could um, make it smaller. I could use it for um, a bounce effect. Okay, different things. All right, eyeball, maybe um, we work with some layers. The goofier or the more distorted, these types of things really um, actually the better. Yeah, I've got a shape that's in white, so I want black. Okay, and make a shape, kind of like this eyeball over here. Now you want to notice that the outlines here, these are not drawn outlines, they're just shapes cut into shapes, and it makes this effect where you've got some thick and thin lines, and that can also be an enhancement for drawing. Okay, uh, some characters. You don't have to get cut too complicated. I'm going to draw another um, oval here get it to transform okay and if I put it perfectly in the middle then I've got an outline and that's not the purpose of even doing this um, I could do a stroke that's perfectly uniform in nature but if I put it kind of to, towards the um, top end so I've got a thick and thin look to it okay now so I have the two shapes and I'm going to go ahead and go with a black. So these are layered on top of each other. They are actually indeed cutting into each other. Let's see if I can get this um, eyeball going. No, I want the transform. I want the transform tool because in a way it protects it um, from cutting until 
I set a line where I would like this to be placed. Okay, and again, I could even distort this edge here. And let's go back to white. And I'll just draw a little thing on top of it. No, don't like that. Got to remember where something that you've drawn that is white. <laughs> Got to remember where it is. Oh, there's a middle piece in here, if you notice. Uh, the little middle um, icon that's just the zero in the middle of where you transform, that's the center where you transform things around. And you don't want to move that. You want to go to the side to grab that. Sometimes it's harder to grab something like that. Okay, and there we go. I've got an eyeball that's kind of um, an interesting shape, although I don't like that eggy shape too much. Okay, distortion. Okay, distortion is good when we're doing character design. All right, um, another one that's used uh, was used in uh, merge drawing mo mode. I had a student do this one, and it just black and white, um, and they also went to... Um, put this in a symbol, but if I double click and get inside of here, yeah, we can see all of the pieces that they used uh, for the face, and those were all drawn with object drawing mode. Okay, and last but not least, I want to introduce you to Goober. This is a character I developed just out of the necessity to um, show drawing tools. And again, everything here is just drawn with um, ovals. And um, also, he was drawn with uh, object drawing mode. So everything, if I select the whole thing, each piece is inside of a container. Okay, so if I get a color, let's say I get um, an orange color and an outline of some sort, and by selecting my oval, let's check to see that the stroke is the way I wanted. I did a stippled effect. You can do anything that you want to, but this will have a, um, an outline that's more uniform in nature. But I did distort this guy. So let's try and draw um, with the object drawing mode. So that means I can draw all on one layer because they're in containers, um, they should be separate from each other. And you so see this where I've got a, a bounding box around it. Now, if you want to work with vector lines, you use your sub selection tool to distort and do things, manipulate uh, things with that. Um, well, let's see, we could make kind of a head with ears automatically, just like that. Okay, we'll make some, you know, fun stuff here. Uh, let's see. Fill it with, I'm going to fill it with a darker one. And duplicate it. Duplication of a symbol or a, um, a piece that we've drawn. Hold down either your Alt key and click and drag. Or on a Macintosh, hold down the Option key to click and drag and it will duplicate it automatically. Okay, So this little guy here, uh, let's transform that. And I want his eye to be a little bit um, weird here. Okay, maybe transforming that to be a little bit more like a nose. And if I get close in, closer in, I like to I like to use um, the in Flash. I like to use the selection tool. And if I double click this object, because see, I every time I try to do something with the edge, I still end up um, selecting the whole thing. So getting inside of that, double click and. Okay, the stage is now not available, but the object 
is like is it's in merge object drawing mode so or merge mode rather and so now yes I can pull this down like so okay to get out of that see I'm inside of the drawing object itself just this little piece right here and go back to scene one and I'm back where I was okay although that does not look like a nose um, mm, yeah I can actually go inside there alright and then let's put a little O for his mouth <laughs> all right so if you have problems with let's say I've got um, a body to attach like a cat's um, body ooh, yeah I want a different color than that we'll get back to the orange um, let's say I have something that in its overlapping the wrong way all right not to worry I need to put other things on top and this one underneath and so uh, with the object selected okay either going under uh, modify the object we look for arrange to send to the back bring to the front bring one forward send backward one okay I want to send to back and it will put it underneath uh, my piece there so not to worry very much. Ooh, yes, I'm actually able to distort this guy's body. And again, uh, distortion for characters, uh, it's a whole lot of fun. Um, and then I'm unable to get a hold of that. There we go. All right, sometimes with um, larger tops than bottoms, then um, duplication and things like that so uh, there we have it we're well on our way to a new little character okay